So it's going to be uh, Kate and William. Are you guys part of this Megan Smear? Let's find out. I hope you like the video. If you do, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Wow. Cool. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So honestly, I've got to tell you, I feel biased about this. I feel like uh, Kate and uh, William haven't had anything intentional to do with this, but we'll see what the cards say. Uh, so the cards uh, speak uh, their own truth, I, I feel. Let's, let's see what you happens. Know, we've seen the brothers together for so long. They're such an amazing uh, pair, and you can't imagine, you could never have imagined that this would have ever happened, that they would have become estranged somehow. Um, it just, um, It just doesn't even seem to fit into the picture. Um, but, uh, and then also, now, when Megan came onto the scene, it was believable that there could be some tension uh, between uh, Megan and Kate. But, I mean, give me a break. Kate is going to be queen of England. Queen of England. Why in the world would she need to have any um, uh, feelings um, of jealousy towards Megan? I mean, that's not a rational thing, but it doesn't mean it's not a real feeling that can happen. Um, um, so let's just uh, go from that side. We're just going to be looking at uh, the Kate and William side towards uh, Harry and uh, see uh, if there seems to be, if they've even been involved in something not nice. So these, this is another Low Scarabio deck. This is the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot. And I just loved uh, the, um, the way these, the artwork on these. And so um, uh, they'll work. It's got a typical uh, instruction booklet. You know, you know, it's a little hard to read. It's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, the box is not much to talk about, but the cards are just really beautiful. You know, they uh, handle well. They got like a matte finish and they go right to the edge of the cards. And they're very vivid and bright and interesting to look at. So I love these cards. And sometimes you just need a deck like this for a reason like we're going to do. So it's a good way for everybody to kind of see what cards look like. And uh, maybe it'll uh, make you decide if you want to get uh, some tarot cards. And you don't have to get just some kind of cryptic thing. Or I mean, they've got all kinds uh, that you can choose from. I'm amazed at this Los Caravillo and Cara Marchetti, um, the different uh, card. It must be a, a card sweatshop they work out of there, to tell you the truth. So we'll get this interesting set of questions I think we could get out of this. So. So we want to know if William and Kate, this will be a series of a few card, pool, card pools, I think. So William and Kate, William and Kate, your energy, the two of you, have you guys been involved in some sort of a, a campaign against um, Megan or Harry and Megan? You know, have you been involved in any sort of a, you know, any shenanigans at all? Um, counter to this new couple. Look at that. Look at that. What is this? Okay, so this is a... Is this a page? This is a page of cups. So is this telling you, know, again, let me explain that the page is the least uh, important of the royal uh, court cards. You've got the page of knight, the queen, the king. Cups are emotions, compassions, uh, passions, actually. And uh, this page is kind of holding up that cup of uh, uh, you know, passions here. So this could mean there's just a little, is it, is the message here that there's just a little bit of some sort of an emotion there. Okay. It's interesting that that would come out. So we'll, we'll keep that one and then we'll go ahead and do, let's see, let's do three more cards on that for, um, William and Kate. Is there, is there some sort, have you done any sort of little something? One, two, it's negative, three. So let's see. Let's see about that. I can't imagine that would be the case. Uh, we start off with this uh, page of, of, of emotions, this offer of something um, emotional here. It could be good, could be bad. The next card of that, William and Kate, 
Well, you know, look at this. So this is feeling uh, sort of trapped within the rules of the castle. Look at this. So this person is, is really restrained. I mean, very much restrained. It's a perilous trip. If you take a step forward and, and, and you're, look, these two swords right here are actually even blocking this person from taking a step backwards. You can see them right now. Here's the handle. Here's the handle. Okay. Then you've got these other, uh, and this is the Eight of Swords. And then you've got these other swords, these are rules, these other regulations, maybe these truths, I don't know, that, ha that have uh, really got you hemmed in. And the only thing you can do is kind of step into, and what does water represent? It represents uh, emotion. And you've got a reflection of yourself in that pond. So, you know, this is leaning toward a little bit of something. Okay, the next card in this is the, um, gosh, the number one. So is this the Ace of Wands? Okay, yeah, this is the Ace of Wands. So this Ace of Wands, again, so we're back here to these, these rules, I think. And we've got a great big, oh no, you know what this is? This is the Magician. Very sorry. So the, this is number one of the Major Arcana. So the Magician has at their disposal uh, the Cups of Compassion, the Pentacles of Value, the uh, Wands of uh, Action, and then also the uh, sword of uh, rules and truth and justice. And it's funny that this magician is dressed up like a woman. I wonder if this is how they perceived Megan. She somehow had this magical mix that they weren't sure how to interpret. Is that a possibility? The last card for this is the seven of swords. And the seven of swords is, you know, feeling like someone has stolen something and we've got another woman here who has grabbed this sword and is using it to kind of walk out walk away okay so they stole she stole harry megan took harry and on her back she's got these swords of truth and 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 yeah and she's showing him something that um he shouldn't look at which is you know some truths that maybe um, don't aren't aren't clearly brought into the picture in this family. I love this. I'm going to reorganize these cards because I'm liking the story that they're telling here. So we start out with yeah, I think for the both of them, or if you want to say just William, yeah, there's a little bit of jealousy here. There's a little bit being offered up because they're trapped. They can't make a move. What they can do is very restrained, and and if they step forward, they're stepping into a lot of emotions in that pool. And um, Megan comes forth as kind of a magician with all these tools at her disposal that they really don't have at their disposal anymore. And uh, this is still Megan, uh, you know, where she stepped into the scene and she's stolen away this emotional value of Harry. I like that a lot. So let's do just two more cards to see. Okay, so it looks like there's just a hint of some responsibility of, of at least uh, Ill, Ill feelings towards uh, Megan. So just two more cards. Yeah. We'll see how this finishes out for this first uh, little story. Okay, so she stole him. Okay, this is the night of what? In the Knight of Swords. Oh no, this is a Knight of Wands. This is a Knight of Wands. So we can look at this two ways. I've always kind of felt like, and the Wands are fire, action, motion, uh, moving forward. And this Knight is doing a, a walk. He's taking his steed and he's doing a walk kind of in the opposite direction. You know, you would like to see things going this way, but this Knight is kind of going that way. And I feel like it's Harry. I do. I feel like Harry is, is st taking this plan and he's walking out, off the scene, okay? The final card in this ah, is the Ace, and this is the second Ace, no, okay, the Ace of Pentacles. Great big um, offer of value. Is something very important, and look at, in the distance here, we can see just beyond this angel's wings, we can see there's a portal to something outside, to something other, okay? So Harry was very important, and, and so now maybe he's going to take his value and move on to something else. Very good. Tell the story again. So it looks like uh, William has a little uh, feeling of some jealousy here. We've got the um, eight of uh, swords where the two of them, William and Kate, are hemmed in. They can't really move comfortably. Uh, Megan steps into the picture with all the tools that she had at her disposal. She takes Harry away as a seven of swords as thief. Harry makes a plan and starts to lead his steed uh, out of the picture and now there's this realization of just how valuable Harry is. 
Love that. So now let's move on. It looks like perhaps there is, uh, it doesn't tell me that they did anything. This is telling me kind of how they could have felt, okay? How they could have felt. She could be uh, an asset to the firm. And that's how it kind of started out. The four of them were a jolly uh, foursome, uh, looking like they had some momentum. And perhaps uh, Megan comes in with this outside um, view of how things work and doesn't realize that things work in a very a stilted, a very planned, a very um, restrained kind of way within that monarchy. So William and Kate, as a team or individually, as the cards have been very good about telling the story, have you had something to do with with something some ill will um, causing action with with uh, against Megan? So that's one. I'm going to do six, two, three, four, five, and six. Look how cleanly those cards came out of there. Usually they come out and kind of create a little bit of a mess, but this uh, looks like we might be right onto the scene with this one. So William and Kate. Do you have some responsibility for stirring up some smear uh, regarding Megan? Uh, so this is okay. So now that uh, page of compassion or that page of, of hurt feelings has turned into a knight. And you know, I've always say that when the knight comes onto the scene, he's going to take his charge, whatever it is, and he's going to defend it. He's going to make something happen. So that page has moved it up to now to the strength of a knight, and he's still carrying that kind of little twinge, that little grudge a little something what's that challenged by that's challenged by my goodness um is this the star or temperance um let's see 1560 70 this is the star the star is megan the challenge to this is this great big sparkling star of megan remember there's some restraint that has to be had on the part of william and kate they can't be a great big glittering star but uh, megan is that okay and uh, she's pouring out some emotions all at the same time she's giving it everything she's got so that's the challenge to him having feeling this the stronger feelings of some maybe some sort of betrayal some sort of uh, twinge of, 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 of emotions here the base of this reading then is the nine of cups the nine of cups is sometimes referred to the greedy merchant the nine of cups has has earned his um, emotional value okay he's got lots up here to display for for what he's worth he's at the point where he can just take a rest and enjoy this um, this adoration for his achievements, his trophies. And that's kind of where William was. So Megan upset a couple of apple carts, perhaps. Uh, just her presence, I think. I don't know that if it's intentional. We haven't drawn the card on that, but it, her presence has caused this. The past of this reading is a six of... Uh, Wow. The Six of Swords and the Six of Swords is moving out of troubled water. Is moving into something calmer, some other port. And that's exactly what's caused this is the fact that Harry and Meghan are moving on with their truths. Okay, protecting them, apparently. Um, the Reflection in the Pool. This is very interesting because sometimes what we th think we're doing um, may seem uh, like uh, it's something else uh, in Reflection. Huh. And then the sky of this reading is the five, six, seven, eight of, and so that's strength. And I could say that what happened here is the strength, that the, the strength that this come out came out with was somewhat of a surprise. I don't know that they expected this to be such a a forceful move. And then the uh, final outcome of this first part are completions, are circles, of beginnings and endings. And of course, that's what they are. Um, that's all they could be. So it's the perfect card. Uh, for that. Of course, these are beginnings and endings, and sometimes there are rough starts. So, let's see. But this still doesn't tell me if they actually did something. But you know, I'm trying to find something. I should just let it uh, tell the story. So the uh, self of that question, did they actually do something, or is all this a lot of misunderstanding? Okay, so this is the, uh, the second card, which is the Empress. Hmm with the Major Arcana. Did they do something? The Empress is fruitful, she's knowledgeable, she's in charge, but she's looking for the Emperor, okay, that kind of completes her, in my opinion, and certainly in this story. And uh, when we look upon these uh, pillars of uh, strength and, and truth, uh, we see that we have an overturned urn that would carry some compassion or some emotion, and we've got this beacon of light 
over here, and she's resting really in front of an, uh, of a wall. that's in front of a, a look like it looks like almost a, a C back there. I'm going to say that the uh, this, the signifier of this question, the self of this question, as to whether they caused anything, I think not. I think that they they are incomplete. Um, in that regard, they have the strength and the power and the conviction of this empress, but um, there's no movement there. The uh, environment that that's in then, ah, that's very good because this is the, um, the 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 wise man, you know, he, the hermit. He's he's looking and look at him. He's even got a crown. So this is William understanding his position. He's a little um, uh, bathed, bathed in the glow, okay? The the secrets are being held back. He's trying to shine some light on the situation. He's using the staff to go forth with a plan. And so this is in the environment of really trying to not put a foot wrong. The uh, hopes and the fears of this is this is the knight and the value. Okay, so the hopes and the fears. The hopes and the fears is that uh, this knight finds the value and trots uh, off of, you know, to, to defend that. That could be, uh, you know what, it's still Harry. It's still Harry. Yep, he's still that knight with the value. He's carrying that value there. It could be his own value or the value of, of what he represents in this family. And then the final outcome of this is the five of wands and the five of wands look at that it's uh pointless uh bickering and uh struggling uh with your plans and getting all uh, tangled up with each other um you know it's not a hurtful there's not going to be a death come of this but someone's going to get agitated uh from what's going on here so the outcome of all this was always inevitable that this unless it was a some uh Stepford a wife type of match for Harry, it was always going to cause this friction in the picture. Um, two, just two more cards, just a better ask if um, William and Kate did anything um, overt uh, against Megan, and so far it's, it's a big no. So two cards, William and Kate, anything overt. This is the nine of of, of, of coins, you know, where they're loaded with all the value they need. They may uh, understand the jealousy, perhaps it could have been there, but they also understand what their value is in this whole picture. Let's put that right here. And then the one more card to see if they've done anything overt. <sighs> I think these are all the actions that uh, were caused uh, by um, Harry and Meghan in their separation from the family. You know, it's that, it's all those actions that caused this. So yeah, it wasn't uh, uh, that William and Kate did anything over it, but it was um, the actions that uh, Harry and Meghan brought into it that caused the disharmony. Yep. So yeah, the story got told there, and I want to separate these cards on the table uh, so that I can uh, kind of recap this in a, in a sensible way and not uh, pick up the wrong cards. So yeah, we started out uh, in this last, uh, what turned into a full Celtic cross plus, uh, a couple of uh, clarifiers at the end. Um, William, who had been the page, is now this knight carrying this cup of emotions, okay? So now uh, he's in defense mode. Okay, and the challenge to it is the star that uh, Meghan Markle brings into this. Remember, she had in that first draw, she was the magician, and now it's all this glaring star power. Okay, that is is part of the disruption. At the base of the thing was the Nine of Cups, which is the 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 um, called the greedy merchant, but as someone who's earned all these trophies of uh, emotional recognition and is is glad to display them, and that's where William is. Okay, um, and understanding that, but still getting a nose out of joint, I think a little bit. And then in the past of this was the fact of. Uh, Harry and Megan uh, moving on, okay, moving on. And in that reflection uh, in that pond there, you can see that uh, maybe things aren't always as they appear. You might not be going in the direction you think you are, or maybe it doesn't look that way to uh, out, uh, someone looking from the outside. And the top of the thing was strength. And I think it's the strength, this was the challenge of the strength of William and the strength of Harry. Uh, Harry being the number two, knowing he would always be the number two, but realizing he has to come forth and show some strength and with the uh, backing of his bride. Um, the um, outcome of that first part was uh, cycles beginning and ending and this is a great big one this is a complete end of, of what was Harry and the beginning of what is Harry and Meghan the um, self of that question then for uh, William and Kate is that yeah they're feeling uh, this uh, this they're feeling like this empress 
full of full of uh, uh, conviction and worth and power, but she's completed by the emperor. So there's a little bit left there, and then we see uh, William show up as the hermit, you know, ready to shine a light, take a careful step forward with his staff of, of planning. The uh, likely outcome of this is that Harry uh, now has become the knight carrying his value uh, fully uh, out, out of the picture, you know, on forward. And then the final outcome with this uh, six, uh, this five of wands is just um, argy bargy, you know, conflict, uh, nothing that's going to kill somebody, but someone can get hurt with one of these branches getting waved around. And then we wanted more clarification. So did they, did William and Harry and, and Kate do anything? No. Kate understands her worth. She knows exactly who she is and, and, has to know and does know when to put those emotional feelings back that's what she's learning at, at this future queen and then it's all these actions that were caused by Harry and his inexperienced bride that have caused this conflict sadly uh, I don't think it was uh, intent intended to be mean but that's how it's turned out I'm Mark my journey through tarot tomorrow's another day stop by we'll do it again ciao for now